uh, you see, initially the idea is how to promote Mexico in a way that it appeals to Indians. And there is nothing more Indian than an auto. We live in a city that is highly polluted. So having a vehicle that runs um, in gas, every time I use my auto, it's a third of the, of the carbon footprint that I do for the city. I've been in India approximately two years, and it took me um, you know, half a year to, to get the auto and get the permission. So I've survived already two summers, and one monsoon, and one winter, and one everything. And I still use it every day. We have all used autos before. Um, before I was an ambassador, I traveled uh, in India, and I used auto. So why not use it as an ambassador? People are very surprised. You know, and, and because it's so colorful, people are drawn to it. And um, there's been a lot of promotion about it. And uh, so people wave in the streets and the kids want to know what it is. And then the other auto driver sort of, who are you? Well, I am still not allowed to go in the, in the front uh, door of the parliament because there is a regulation in the parliament that doesn't allow three-wheelers. So I have to come into the service entrance if I want to enter with my three-wheeler and I make it an issue to enter through the service uh, entrance and not use my car in the parliament. All in all, I love my vehicle. Uh, people are concerned that, oh, it's too hot, it's this and that. But when you are actually moving, it's quite fresh, actually. Made by the same artist uh, that decorated the hood. This is very traditional way of painting flowers in Oaxaca, in the southern part of Mexico. And um, this is the campaign that we use in the Ministry of Tourism, which is Mexico. You have to live Mexico to believe how beautiful it is. I think this is a very uh, effective vehicle. You know, we live in a city that has a lot of traffic. So the capacity of the autos to move and to go into places and to, you know, sort of wiggle its way around um, congested uh, streets is a very, very good one. Uh, once a, a, a cop sort of came to us in a, in a red light and he had seen a video or something so he came to us and said, oh, madame, I am, you know, can I have a photo with you? But no, we have never, you know, we have never broken a law big enough so that the cop has to stop us.